Okay, to uh, when you uh, turn when you boot up the uh, CAD well, it'll come into the screen. So there's this uh, icon up here called Arc. You just click on that, and then you log in using the uh, username S Mesa and the password. It's right on the um, tag. So you log in. Okay, to start an EEG, you just hit Start Clinical EEG. Okay, and it's going to open up into this, uh, this, um, you know, into this uh, screen right here. So to start a recording, you should put a first and last name. So in the last name, just put your first uh, initial, or your first name and your last initial. And then the first name put class uh, 2023. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so last name, put your first uh, name and last initial, and then class 2023. Okay, now to start the recording, you click on start, okay? So you'll see that the informational, or the data will start scrolling across. Now this is just all garbage. So the first thing I want you to do is put it on the calibration. So you put it on calibration right there. Um, and then you want to put the, uh, the, you want to make sure the low cut filter is at one, the high cuts at 70 and the sensitivity is seven, at seven microvolts per millimeter. The notch, this little thing here should be off. And the paper speed should be 30 millimeters per second. Okay, so it's recording now. So it autom uh, so uh, when we first start a recording, we click and we run a few, uh, a couple pages or 10 to 20 seconds of calibration, and then you can turn it off. And then, uh, then go to this is the BioRefCal right here, BioRefCal. So you, I want you. So these are pre-programmed. So just click M1, and the BioRef uh, BioRef montage will come on. So that's the second thing we're going to do. We're going to do a mechanical cal, and then the BioRef cal. So you can turn that on, and then you can turn on your impedance meter. There's the ohm symbol right there. Just click on that, and your impedance meter will come up. Okay, and then all these, when these uh, are below 10 k ohms, they'll turn green. Okay. So there's nothing going into the head box right now. Okay. So now I want you to hit M2. This is the pre-program -pre montage. This, this is Mesa Bipolar. You can see it's the, uh, it's the longitudinal bipolar running back to front. So you have the left temporal, left parietal, the midline, right parietal, right temporal, and then the ileys and the EKG. Okay, so for here, uh, I want you to go to the event, the events right here. If you click on events right there, this will come up here. So at the beginning of each montage, you indicate whether the eyes are open or closed. So here, uh, here, uh, EO, if you hover over these, it'll tell you what they are. You know, we can see right here. If I hover over that one's eye closed. So just click on that. And then you click on it once and then go and put it wherever you want it on the screen. Okay, eyes closed. Um, and then we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna click on awake, click on awake and then drag it and then, or you don't drag it, you just move the cursor to the screen and then click again and it'll say awake. And then supine, wherever that is. Um, I don't think we have supine on this one. Um, you can click on CON comment and then click on the screen and type in supine. Okay, so just to let you know, you can pre you all these all these here are pre-programmed um, uh, annotations. So if you just click on the events, you can choose any one you want. Like here's the eye movement. Let's say there's an eye movement right there. You just click on it and then put it right there and click again. And that's eye movement. Okay, so you can play around with that. Just, you know, click on a few of these, click on them once and then move the cursor wherever you want to, and then click again and you'll see that it'll put it right where you want it on the screen, okay? 
let's say the person's talking right here, you click on talk, move your cursor over there, click again, and it's, it'll say talking, okay? Um, also with this, you can actually start typing on the screen, just typing like on the Natus, you can just type, and on the neon code, and you just type in um, eyes closed. Okay, so wherever you first start typing, that's where it's going to put it. Let's let's put we'll type in supine. So I started typing right about here on the screen. So when I hit OK, it'll appear right there where I started typing. Okay. So those are your options for annotations. You can click on here and then just use one of these here, or you can um, actually just start typing on the screen. Okay. Now if you want to pinpoint an exact spot. Like say there's an eye movement right there, you just click on common, or actually you click on eye movement right here, and then you oh, hit, click, click on eye movement, and put it right over there, and then it'll be right there, okay? So play around with that a little bit, um, and then click on M, M, uh, three, M3, and that'll bring you to the transverse bipolar. And then go to sensitivity, and uh, let's start at the low cut. Go to the low cut and turn it down to 0.53. So when you turn the low cut down from 1, it's going to increase the amplitude of slow waves. And then go back to, and re increase it from 1 to 1 1.6. This will decrease the amplitude of the slow waves, okay? And I'm going to turn that back to 1, which is the standard setting. One is where it should be when you start each recording so for the low cut or the low frequency filter. For the high cut, click on it and go to 35. And uh, what that will do is it'll decrease the uh, amount of fast activity or decrease the amplitude of fast activity on your EEG, okay? And then we'll go back to 70. And then the sensitivity um, again, sensitivity uh, increases the amplitude of the w all the waveforms, or it decreases it. So if we want to decrease we, uh, all the amplitude of all the waveforms, go to 7, or you click on it, and then go down to 20, and you'll notice that they all got a lot, lot lower amplitude. Okay, so that de de when you decrease the sensitivity, you actually increase the number. When you increase the sensitivity, you actually decrease it. So seven again is the is the ACNS guidelines for starting in the EG. That's where it should be when you start, but you can always turn it uh, during the recording. So now we want to go to let's say we want to increase all the activity on the uh, on the EEG. Then you lower it to a lower number, and we'll study this uh, more in class uh, at some point too. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to 70 again for the sensitivity. And then lastly, uh, go ahead and click on number 4. Uh, and montage number 4 is ac the actual um, um, uh, referential montage, okay? So for this one, just go ahead and, you know, uh, go to your events right over here and click Eyes Open. Put, you know, put an eyes open there, and then click awake, put awake, and then uh, then just click on that and, and type in supine. So again, uh, uh, at the start of each montage, you want to put the, whether the eyes are open or closed, their state of consciousness, whether awake, jaws, or sleep, and then their head position, which is either supine, head left, or head right. Okay, lastly, then, uh, uh, Go ahead and stop the recording. So just hit stop over here. Okay, and to get out of uh, the recording for Natus, all you do is hit the X button up here. And it says, are you sure you want to close the recording? You hit yes. And you hit ready, and it'll say ready to read. Hit okay. All right, now if we go to, if you go to record review, here's your, your, your record will be right up there, okay? There it is right there, okay?